Hi Jordan, this is Chris from the Logos Apologia channel. Um, I'm replying to a video about the failure of modern apologetics. Um, you know, for something to fail, you have to understand what its initial goal is to say that it failed at meeting that goal. And it, it seems to me, Jordan, that you have a distorted view of what the goal of modern apologetics is. Um, you know, apologists do not think that we're supposed to convince anyone of anything. It's more accurate to say that we remove the intellectual barriers that people have to coming to Christ. Also, we um, provide arguments and evidence to help support faith for the people that already believe. Um, the Bible is really clear that it's the Holy Spirit that calls one to salvation. 1 Corinthians 12, 3, it's, it's, it's explicit. It says that no one can say Jesus is Lord except through the Holy Spirit. Now, of course people can just mouth that Jesus is Lord, but it means sincerely. It means to make Jesus Lord of your life. And that's a supernatural event that occurs. It occurs through the power of God. It's not a matter of purely arguments and evidence. Arguments and evidence help to clear the roadblocks on the way there to get people to the point where they, they open themselves up to the Holy Spirit and He works a miracle in their lives. But it's a very real supernatural event and when it occurs, it changes people. We have a supernatural worldview because we've experienced a supernatural change in our own lives. And when I accepted Jesus Christ, it radically altered my life in a way that I can't deny or take credit for. Now, Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace you've been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it's the gift of God. Now what that tells me is that I didn't reason my way there. It's not of my own doing. It was God who worked in me. So, Jordan, you're right that we believe by faith, but when you say that apologetics have failed and we should just admit that we take miracles on faith and whatnot, you are using an unbiblical definition of faith. You're, the way that you use the word faith is not the way, the faith that we have. Um, the faith that we have is based on evidence and uh, the, the sort of faith that skeptics uh, use is usually something like belief without evidence. I think Mark Twain said something like, faith is believing what you know ain't so. And this is not biblical faith. Biblical faith is more accurately described as trust. It's an act of trust that's earned. The biblical faith is grounded in evidence and reason leading us to knowledge. Hebrews 11.1 1 says that faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction or the evidence of things not seen. So, biblical faith isn't wishing, it's confidence based on knowledge, and it motivates to, us to act in a trusting way. Now, like, when I say I have faith in my wife, that doesn't mean I have evidence of everything that she does 100% of the time, all day long. Now, if I behave that way, that would actually prove that I didn't have faith in her. But I think that she's faithful, and why is that? Because I've seen evidence of her character. I know her, I've seen her in action before. Um, it's because I have this evidence that I trust her. Now, if she's coming home late, or I don't suspect that she's not being faithful to me, because I have evidence to trust her, and, and she's earned my trust. So the difference between like the his, historical examples that you're pulling out of pagan figures and, and trying to demonstrate that you can make the same sort of evidential arguments for them that apologists use for Jesus, you're not seeing the forest for the trees, Jordan, because Jesus Christ is qualitatively different than those characters. He's changed millions of lives. Christians have an active supernatural relationship with him. Jordan, uh, Western culture has been radically modified by his teachings. None of these other guys are, are, are afterthoughts in the dustbins of history. The socio-religious context is just apples and oranges. And, and you can't just ignore that and you know, pick, make these little picky union arguments based on, on historical evidence. Sure, you can duplicate the same sorts of arguments, but the context is so radically different that the argument completely fails. 
Biblical faith is not wishful thinking. It's not faith without evidence. It's based on evidence, and it's trust in the person of Jesus Christ who we have a supernatural relationship with. I hope that helps. Thank you.